Here we go. Hi everyone, today's August the 10th, it's around 3 p.m. Wanted to keep going with our Meet the Scientist series here and introduce you to Professor Pete Raymond from Yale University. Pete, uh, why don't you tell us what brings you here today? So we, we're starting a new project funded under, um, well, a new NSF program called Rules of Life, which is across the whole biological sciences. They had a competition and we, um, myself, uh, um, Byron Crump, Colin Gleason had a project funded which we titled The Watershed Rules of Life. Um, the goal of the project is to look at fairly large watersheds which aren't um, sort of historically studied holistically um, in order to find out where in these large watersheds sort of in situ native water column microbial populations um, have enough time and in, 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 um, the right conditions to reach um, population levels where they start to change water chemistry. Um, and so we are studying four watersheds, um, the Gunnison, uh, the Connecticut River, um, the Deschutes River, and the Willamette. All four of them are about 20,000 kilometers squared, which uh, we kind of called our Goldilocks watersheds, watersheds that we thought sometimes would be just active passively, acting passively, um, with mostly sort of um, conservative transport of constituents, not allowing microbial populations to grow either because the water's too cold or the water's moving too fast. But then other top types, times of year might have sort of optimal com conditions for growth. And so the, the study design is in within these four watersheds to have um, nested watersheds. So like the watershed we're in now um, is, is, you know, on the scale of kilometers squared and we'll be sampling watersheds of different sizes all the way up to the mouth of the Gunnison before it dumps in the Colorado River. And just to interrupt real quick, Pete, one of the things that's nice about, um, at least I hope it's nice for you working here, you were just looking at the, at the Bradley site, that's Kate Maher's uh, Hill Slope study site, is that it affords an opportunity to tie Pete's work into our network of stream gauging sites and stream chemistry sites. So for the upper catchment here, we've just instrumented Rock Creek, uh, we've just instrumented Bradley, we're about to instrument Rustlers, and then we'll do a location down at the pump house. So very strong explicit tie to our research tied to the SFA. So Pete, actually, I'd like you to introduce you uh, introduce us to the next generation who are getting the opportunity to uh, uh, to come out here and assist and sort of get their toes wet, literally and figuratively, into science. So, go ahead, take it away, this introduce us. My sampling um, team. It consists of uh, Wes Raymond. Yeah. Hey there, Wes. How old are you? I didn't really think of something to say before this. That's all right. <laughs> um, I'm 15. Sounds great. Introduce us to your friend here. Sophie, my cousin. Hey there, Sophie. You having fun so far? Yeah. Pretty interesting, I hope. It is. It's going to get more interesting. Trust me, you got uh, 12 more of these to do, 11 more. <laughs> Take us away. I'm Zach. I'm not part of the family. You're kind of honorary part of the family now. I am, and I'm also He's the our best. local talent, too. He's from Colorado. I'm sort of like the best skier on the mountain. Fantastic. <laughs> Where'd you grow up in Colorado? Winter Park. Really? Have you skied at Crested Butte before? Heck yeah. Heck yeah. There it is, everyone. You can actually look down Valley. You can imagine uh, Zach just ripping it down some of those extreme runs. I'm sure he has. Yeah. So anyway, thanks everybody. Really uh, want to thank Pete for uh, for steering part of his NSF project here. I think it's a golden opportunity for us with these Goldilocks watersheds. Thanks again.